Hi, it's Grandpam again. I'm going to read you another story. Before we read the story, though, I have something to talk to you about. I want to show you something that I got from a neighbor. I walked up to my neighbor's house, and she has chickens. And her chickens, what do you think they did for me? They laid eggs. And those chicken eggs were different colors. We didn't color these for Easter. They were already these pretty colors. And you can see we've eaten some of them already. We're going to talk about eggs today. And we're, first we're going to talk about what kinds of animals lay eggs. Now. Um, sorry. So in each of these doors, I've put an animal that lays eggs. So let's find out what's behind the purple door. We're going to use the purple key and open the purple door. And what's behind the purple door that lays eggs? <gasps> a bird! It looks like a toucan. A toucan lays eggs. Let's find out what else lays eggs. Let's go behind this orangish gold door. It's a beetle bug. Insects lay eggs. Okay, let's go behind the aqua door. What's that? It's a fish. We know fish lay eggs. Some fish lay eggs and some fish don't. But I think this fish lays eggs. Well, anyway, fish lay eggs. Let's go look behind the green door. What's that? It's a duck. Ducks lay eggs. Quack, quack. What does a duck say? Quack, quack. And behind the yellow door. Ooh, it's a bluebird. Blue jay. Blue jays lay eggs. Two kinds of birds. And one last door. The pink door. What is this? It's a little turtle. Turtles lay eggs. So we're going to put this away now. Now that we know a few animals that lay eggs, we're going to look at some other animals and decide if they lay eggs or not. I've made two signs. One sign says, come from eggs. And the other sign says, do not come from eggs. And it's got a circle with a cross over it. That means these animals don't come from eggs. So now we're going to look at some animals and we're going to decide, does it come from an egg or doesn't it come from an egg? First choice is a cardinal. A cardinal is a bird. Does it come from eggs? It does. Cardinal comes from eggs. How about, what's this? A kitty. Does a kitty come from an egg? No, kitties do not come from eggs. How about this one? What's that? Squirrel? Does a squirrel come from eggs? No, a squirrel does not come from eggs. Here's a good one. What's this? <sighs> It's a Tyrannosaurus Rex. Do dinosaurs come from eggs or did they? They don't live, they're extinct now. But yes, they did come from eggs when they were alive. How about this little guy? Oh, he's so cute, little puppy. Do puppies come from eggs? No, puppies don't come from eggs. How about this one? Ladybug? Does a ladybug come from eggs? Yes, ladybugs come from eggs. 
How about a giraffe? Do giraffes come from eggs? Nope. You put the, the giraffe in the no spot. Does not come from eggs. How about these little fish? Do fish come from eggs? Yes, some fish come from eggs. And we have a dolphin. Does a dolphin come from eggs? Now, dolphins swim in the sea like fish, but they do not come from eggs because they are mammals. And here's one last one. What's that? That's another fish. Do fish come from eggs? Yes, fish come from eggs. We'll put that over here. Now, so we kind of know what kinds of animals come from eggs and what kinds of animals don't come from eggs. Now, I'm going to read you a book called What's Inside? You can see, this is an old, old book. This was my book when I was a little girl, and it went through Jay, Andy, Danny, Jenny, and um, my kids, Jordan, Jake, and lots of grandkids, so it looks kind of old and weathered. But that means it's a good book. Lots of kids have read it. This is by Mae Gerlich, photographs by Rena Jacobson. The Story of an Egg That Hatched. So let's figure out what's inside that egg. What do you think's inside that egg? Let's read it. Here is an egg, a big white egg. Look, there are cracks in the shell of the egg. See the cracks? Hmm. Must be a hard shell if it's cracking. Now look, the cracks are bigger. What can be breaking the egg? What is making it crack? See how big the cracks are getting? Shh, shh, there is a little noise. It is coming from inside the egg. Tap, tap, tap. What is going on inside this egg anyway? It's a tap, tap, tap. What could be going tap, tap, tap? Now the crack is getting bigger. Something inside is cracking the shell. Something inside is trying to push out of the shell. What can it be? Can it be a head? Can it be a beak? Can you tell what that is in there? What is pushing through the shell? Can it be a horse? Can it be a hippopotamus? Oh no, who ever heard of a hippopotamus hatching out of an egg? And who ever saw a horse with a beak? Ooh, now look what's happening. Feathers. Hmm, what could it be if it has feathers? First, a beak, and then feathers. And now, something that looks like feet. What has feathers, feet, and a beak, and comes out of an egg? Hmm. What has feathers, feet, and a beak, and comes out of an egg? Can it be a robin? No, robin's eggs are much smaller. And besides, they are blue. It is not a robin, because what color was that egg? It was white. But it is a bird. What kind of bird is it? Look at that bird. Can you tell what it is? Is it a turkey? Turkeys are birds. Turkeys hatch from eggs. But our egg is bigger than a turkey's egg. It is not a turkey. Can it be an ostrich? Oh no, an ostrich comes from a very, very big egg.
Now, the bird is all out of the shell. The baby bird worked hard to come out. It worked for a whole day and a whole night to get out of the shell and be born. That's a long time. It is tired and sleepy and wet. The little bird has to rest and dry its feathers. It's like it's resting. Now its feathers are dry. Now can you tell what kind of a bird it is? What is that? Look at that beak. What kind of a bird has a beak like that? Look at its feet. They are webbed. Why would a bird have webbed feet? See those webbed feet? Webbed feet are for swimming. What bird swims? Did you say duck? Anybody might think it is a duck, but it is not a duck. It's a goose, a baby goose. A baby goose is called a gosling. Cheep, cheep, cheep. Baby goose. Every day, the newborn gosling will grow and grow. It will grow up to be a big, white, fluffy goose. And then what do they say? Honk, honk. Is this the end of the story? No. When this gosling grows up, it will have babies that will hatch out of eggs. It will have goslings that grow into geese. This story never ends. It goes on and on and on. It's like the circle of life. And that's the end of what's inside. Thank you for coming to story time with Grandpam. I love you guys and I'll see you later.